Hello everyone. The J mains and J advanced are over and it is time for the JOSA counseling to begin. So right around this time last year, I had made a video specifically targeted at the parents of the J aspirants and it had received quite a good response from both the children, from the students as well as the parents. So this year also I thought it would be a good idea if I make a video specifically targeting the parents. Usually I make these videos for the students, but for a change, I am appealing or putting out a request to the parents of the students. In my opinion, there are broadly two categories of families, consequently two categories of parents. So the first category is a very small minority who are actually very much interested in the specifics of the engineering education itself is a very very small minority so they are really concerned about what kind of education engineering education their students will their children will receive uh, uh, what their interests are etc etc but the vast majority of the parents and the fa families they are uh, they mostly view the engineering education as a social mobility ladder so there is nothing wrong with it given the context uh, we have to understand all of this in the context of our country, the socio-economic conditions of our country, but this is what it is. So I will address this one by one. So first of all, the minority group, uh, those who are actually interested in the specifics of engineering education. So let me tell you beforehand that as, long, as soon as the JOSA counseling starts, you are going to face a lot of opposing viewpoints, opposing to your viewpoint from the neighborhood aunties and uncles who always consider themselves as experts. Uh, and um, certainly from the various coaching institutes giving all sorts of advice. Now in this situation, it is very easy to get confused and it is very easy for your children also to get confused and completely flabbergasted by the different options. It is extremely important in this situation that you give full support to your children because even if the whole world goes against them, against uh, their thinking process, you must stand steadfastly, stand steadfastly besides them. This is extremely, extremely important. They need your full on support. Now, uh, it may so happen that uh, the results are not up to par. And as a result, you are probably thinking of taking, you means your children are probably thinking of taking a drop. In this context also, there will be a lot of opposing viewpoints. Somebody will say, yes, go for a drop, especially the coaching institutes because they have a business to uphold. Uh, some selfish interest is there. Uh, there may be some kind of opposing viewpoints from the relatives also. Uh, and you may think uh, whether it is some sort of a disreputable thing to take a drop. All these kinds of things will happen. But I would suggest that to turn a deaf ear to all of these things. Try to think in a, in a very uh, selfish way, in a good selfish way, that what is the need of your family? And very importantly, try to think what are the strengths and weaknesses of your children? You know them best. You know the family condition, the economic condition of your family best. You know the mental stability and the stamina of your children the best probably the second best because it is the best is obviously known by the students themselves uh, so you have to discuss with them whether they have the mental stamina and stability to take on the hardships of another year of preparation uh, so this drop year will be tremendously tremendously filled with hardships and struggles so are they willing to go through that do they have the capacity to go through that so this kind of a discussion free and frank discussion must be there uh, this is also true for the majority group of parents but because you are more academically oriented perhaps I am making it a point to highlight this here. Now it is also important to think about uh, suppose the results have been alright uh, and the students and their children are expressing some sort of an interest in going for basic sciences instead of engineering. Try to listen to them. Please do not shut them out. Okay. Uh, it is going against the grain of this of uh, I mean uh, common advice but there are lots of opportunities in the basic sciences also especially if they take up something like maths and computing then um, there are 
lots of job opportunities especially in this day and age so uh, in applied maths uh, there is a lot of opportunity uh, in different kinds of fields so please do not shut your brain to that thing that in basic senses you just have to become uh, uh, like if you take up maths you only have to become a professor or you have to go into the academic line it's not like that okay so this was about the minority group of parents the majority group now so the majority group of parents they are not that much concerned about the specifics of the engineering education as long as their student goes to some engineering institute take up some department and they end up with a good paying job they are happy and there is nothing wrong with it okay uh, no judgment here uh, and usually what happens is the children of these families also they think like this so it's okay but sometimes what happens is that in the process of focusing very hard in their plus two studies some of the children of these kinds of families they start developing aspirations of higher studies they start thinking in a much more academically oriented fashion compared to their parents this is where a little bit of a problem and conflict arises so my request to parents uh, to such kinds of parents is that please try to um, have an open mind to what your children might be trying to say to you you also try to give a full support to them even if they are trying if they even if their their thinking process is going against your mentality try to accommodate their thoughts and their aspirations okay so as i had mentioned earlier uh, the je thing and the je counseling all these things should not be viewed as a vessel of realizing your dreams through them okay i know it is hard to say this probably it's also rude to say this but it should not be like that they should not be your students your children should not be in the process of uh aspiring for second hand dreams second hand dreams from their parents okay rather they should be pursuing their own dreams we have to be realistic of course uh i mean regarding the family conditions and everything but do take into account this factor also now <clears throat> uh no matter what please do not try to impose your will on them in this context let me point out something rather important see uh it may seem that the josa counseling is now too late a stage for this kind of a discussion because they have already studied science for 2 uh, years and they are going for they have already appeared in the entrance examinations even then now i am saying this that this is possibly the last opportunity for you to have a free and frank discussion with your children whether they even want to go into engineering in the first place it may seem that it's too late for this discussion but it is still there is still some time to have this discussion why i'm saying this is see you may think that engineering is the gateway to success but see if you get them admitted to engineering somehow even if they are not interested then what is going to happen ultimately it is they who have to study right no matter what department they are going they have to study the engineering thing themselves you are not going to study it for them now if they completely lack interest in studying engineering what is going to happen they'll completely lose their focus and their will to study and this is something which we see on a day to day basis even among the best students which we get here at iit kharagpur year after year we see this that there is a certain group of students who have absolutely no interest in studying engineering they are actually capable in many other things but they are not interested in engineering they came here mostly at the behest of their parents so if such a thing happens to your children you see despite all the prospects of high paying jobs and everything what is going to happen what is going to happen is that and this has actually happened in many cases is that the students lose focus they get backlog year after year and there comes a big question of forget about jobs and everything it there comes a big question of whether they'll be able to pass and get the degree or not it comes to such a bad situation so please be a little bit mindful of all these things before making a decision okay i'm not trying to scare you 
but these are some of the absolute realities that we are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis in our institute and this is true in all other institutes also okay so please have this free and frank discussion with your kids that whether they want to go into engineering whether they want to go into science okay now you may ask uh, like then what then what will you do well i cannot answer that question because that question has to be answered through a discussion between you and your children i mean each and every story is different each and every case is different there is no general all purpose uh, solution which will fit everyone okay on a case to case basis you have to have this free and frank discussion uh, this is extremely extremely important now having said all of this i understand that why this kind of a majority feeling appears in our uh, families uh, why i mean the the je is considered or viewed as a social mobility uh, or an economic mobility upward ladder uh, i mean it's it's a little bit sad to say things like this but it is the truth that many of the parents when they were younger they faced a lot of economic hardships themselves so after a lot of hardships throughout their lives their children have now grown up and now it is there is some sort of an opportunity for them uh, through the next generation of their family to climb higher in the social mobility then what is the harm in that okay yes there is no harm in that but uh, one has to keep certain other things in mind also as i have already pointed out like the interest of the students and it should not be that just because it is engineering it is going to uh, lead to is is an absolute guarantee that is going to lead to a high paying job i'm saying this because there is a lot of hype uh, that is propagated by our news media uh, regarding crores and crores of packages that some of the students get let me tell you very frankly that the number of students who get such kinds of course and course of packages is very 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 limited okay it is only a very few students who get such kinds of packages the vast majority of the students get decent packages but not something like that so please do not get please do not base your decisions on such kinds of media reports however if you are more i mean level headed and you just want to have some kind of a decent job a stable stable job a good uh, economic condition for your family uh, through an engineering job there is nothing wrong with it but in that case uh, you have to be a little bit careful that uh, please do not get your children admitted to some random college some arbitrary department not like that uh, here i am not talking about certainly i'm not talking about the iits and the nits because the situation is a little bit different there uh, but uh, some of the lower rank colleges please do not go for some arbitrary department there because the funding situation there is not that great the facilities the infrastructure that is not so great so if you just randomly in a, admit them in in a department they may not get a full on proper engineering education and the problem is that uh, i would say okay i am myself a mechanical engineering faculty member but even then i would say that in such kinds of colleges is better to go for something like computer science electronics electrical better stick to computer science it electronics because even if the result of your students of your children is a little bit mediocre they can still end up with decent paying jobs but if they are in mechanical civil things like this first of all the infrastructure is not good for them to have a comprehensive education in such kinds of colleges and uh, further on even if such such things are there they have to have a very good result a mediocre result will not lead to a decent job from such colleges okay so uh, i will not prolong this video any more uh, i'll probably discuss uh things associated with departments in in a separate video as i have also done earlier uh but at the very end i will again 
re uh, reiterate my earlier suggestion and request to you my very very uh, polite request to you that please give your full on support whether you are in the minority group of parents who are academically oriented or you are in the majority group of parents who are more inclined towards the economic upliftment uh, whatever it is you please give on give a full on support to your students this is uh, i mean they are in such a delicate situation having cro crossed the hurdle or, or having gone through the uh, hardships of preparing for the examination and and facing such a hard examination uh, this is the time where they need your full on support okay so this is the prime message of this video have a discussion with them with an open mind and only then help them to decide uh, rather than imposing the, your will on them all right thank you very much and all the very best to your children and to your entire families thank you